fastest workers in the world. An American street artist sells his paintings for only $100, which is very small for the world of artists. However, its uniqueness lies in the fact that it spends from 30 to 60 seconds on each of its work. He draws his work with your full-time presence, and even a person who is in a hurry for business can devote only a minute of his life and, having joined the art, take with him another masterpiece. Most often, the artist paints landscapes with waterfalls and mountain rivers. It was under this that he sharpened his skills for 10 years. But now he can draw a picture to anyone who wants it within a minute. It is worth noting that among his works there is not one similar to each other, each is unique. The artist notes that he paints each picture solely according to his mood, and if for a casual passerby, then based on his impressions of this person. I never know in advance what the picture will be. All the drawings depend on random factors, and sometimes a breath of wind can change my inner view of the picture and, as a consequence, its embodiment. Chelyabinsk became the fastest hairdresser in Russia. In an hour, Alexei Kazantsev tons yurt seven people. For each client, he spent less than 10 minutes, while in newfangled barbershops over the heads of visitors conjure an hour and a half. The achievement of our fellow countrymen was officially fixed by the International Agency for Registering Records. We visited Alexei, gave him the tear to pieces of our video editor, and also learned why the master hates barbers, why men in the salons wash their hair twice and what the next record will be. At the age of 35, Alexei Kazantsev changed several professions, he worked at a factory and construction site, played football, wrote in newspapers, kept a pig farm in the village, and so on. In childhood and adolescence, everything related to hairstyles passed by him. Although the mother of Alexei, as it turned out, led the training center for hairdressers. In the end, our hero picked up scissors with a comb and now considers the current work a vocation.